The buying process. So it's decided. It's time to buy a house, your own space, your own Shangri-La. Let's go out and buy a house. And here are some of the steps in the buying process. First, talk to a lender before you even see one house. First, you need to know how much property you can afford. Talk to your mortgage specialist from your own bank. You have your money savings there already, might as well use them. And if you don't have one, your realtor should be able to help you recommend some lenders. The lender usually will ask you for a few things. So it's good to have them ready. And these are your credit score, last two years tax return, and if you're employed under a company, two of the most recent pay stop. With that info, your lender will tell you what amount they will lend you. Of course, some additional information might be required, but those are the main ones. Second, select the realtor you feel will get the job done. <laughs> and I mean some five size saying feel because there's no blueprint to this. And the dynamic between you and the realtor you choose is very important. For example, you might like a mentor like realtor with many years in the subject, like a Zen master. Or you might like an aggressive, gung-ho, straight shooter realtor who will talk directly and search a house for you like a soldier. Or you might like a new age tech realtor who is capable of getting all this info straight to your phone in a few seconds. <laughs> and you can sign documents directly for an iPad. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but in all seriousness, all realtors should have some of these traits. In today's age, a realtor should be seasoned in the industry, talk to you without beating around the bush, and capable of managing technology to service you better. <laughs> I'm sure there are more traits and examples, but like everything else, that is narrow to your choice. When selecting the realtor, it comes down to your gut feeling and the working chemistry you guys have. Third, house hunting. Make sure you have a list of the features you want on your new home. Bigger rooms, bigger master rooms, maybe a small room with a big closet, maybe a small patio, two car garage. Write everything down. With this list, your realtor should be able to find and get you a home that matches as many of the features that you have written down. This is the most fun in the buying process. When you see that property and the features matches what you wanted, you get to imagine what you can do with that space and what it will look like with your own furniture. <laughs> Let me tell you, as a realtor, finding that perfect house for my clients to call home just give me goosebumps. Next time, I will talk about what happens once your offer is accepted and the steps that follows. If you would like to learn more about the different topics regarding real estate, click subscribe. Thank you and I will talk to you soon.